heritage sites crumbled when a 7.2 magnitude earthquake hit Bohol in 2013. Rebuilding them was a huge challenge since the original blueprints from centuries ago were no longer available. The solution? Laser technology that allows recreating the images in their full glory. To tell us more about this amazing technology is this DigiScript president, Conrad Alampay. Hi, Conrad. When I think yeah, about laser technology, I think of the lightsaber. And this <laughs> does not does not look anything like the lightsaber. Tell us right. more about this technology and how it works. Right, okay. This technology is what we call 3D high definition surveying or 3D laser scanning. So what it does, it is a, has a built-in laser in this device and it spins a, a laser around uh, 360 degrees and spins at a rapid rate and captures dimensions in a 3D space at a rate of up to 1 million points per second. Conventionally, we would have single point measurement tools where we would measure point to point. This one captures it a million points per second. So you pick up all the, all the details, all the intricate design that you have in, the, in an existing site. Wow, so, so what's the out, what does the output look like? So the, the first step is first important to capture the, the site. But when you capture all this information, you now have to convert this into usable information for architects, designers, planners, which is the output. It, the outputs would look like a three, it's a 3D scan, what we call a point cloud. Uh, a point cloud is actually a millions of billions of points, dense amount of points together that look like a picture, but all those points have a measurement value. So all those points, turn, we turn them into as-built drawings, what we call as-built, so the current condition. Okay, so yeah. you actually did this to our studio. Yes, and you came out with that image, the output yes, from yes. it. Maybe we can show yeah, that to I can, I can show you exactly what that looks like. So um, prior to, the, to going up here, we did a scan of the studio, which took oh, us wow. <laughs> two minutes. This, is, looks this like was just a, a few minutes ago. Yes, right. This is actually the image together uh, with the color information. So this everything here is made of millions of points. If I zoom in, all those dots are actually a single point, which has measurements. Um, and everything you you can take measurements from this, and you can convert them into what we call as-built drawings. So, uh, okay. So yeah. were there people during the scan? Yes, there or were. Or else people. we'd be wondering where everyone was. Yeah, yeah, there were. Right, so they're not. Oh, okay. So they're also included now. So this is similar to a. I am familiar with the building information modeling, yes. where the images comes together with a database of measurements. So Correct. this also does that. Yes, yes. So exactly that. So when you start designing, you want to design, and we see things in 3D. So why not measure in 3D? So when it comes to designers, we now bring this reality capture into our, into our CAD systems and we can design using the, uh, the current conditions. You did this yeah. for, a ch for the church in Bohol. It, yes, it's it's yes. a very beautiful image. Maybe we can look at that and right. see. Because I wanted to know how much details can right. this give? Well, um, I'll, I can show you one quick example of a, a church, uh, one of the UNESCO churches, which is the Myagao Church, similar to um, one this of This is already the th image from your scanning. Yes, yes. Wow. So it's almost like, almost like a picture, but all these points are actually measurable. So if I, if I want to take measurements from this, all I need to do is say, pick a point here to down here. It will give me the dimensions. I mean, it can't be really seen on, on the screen, but oh, wow. every, all these points are made of, of pixels, which are measurable. It's not just a, a um, image. All right, so how far does it go? So we see the architectural mm. details, but right. does it go into the structural, the rebars, right. the okay. piping? I think one thing to be clear about, this is a line of sight technology. So if you it, it measures what you c it can see. So in, in, in the cases of the sites in Bohol, we captured what happened there with the cracks, the deformations, the different uh, the, the damages that were there. So we preserve it and we now document it. So we can now de de determine the best recommendations on how to rebuild, reconstruct. It's a starting point, basically, of how we can move forward in, in design. But this technology is not just for that. It's also used for even, is it, can it also be used in the pre-design stage or is it only for as-built purposes? Actually, it's, it's um, it actually applies to a lot of um, processes in the building design. So like that, um, for as built, to capture what's there so you can design on the actual environment. Because a lot of times we can get information which is missing, incomplete. This one captures everything. The wealth of information is used at your disposal and you can now plan properly your design and not make you could possible clashes in your you know, piping to mechanical systems if you don't take into account the, the whole environment, which is what we can do now with this technology. A big yeah. help for construction. Now, as usual, the question will be, will it cost? How, how much will it be? Yeah, that's, a, that's quite a difficult question to ask because it's different from project to project. So um, I, all I can say is um, it's a bit, of course, a bit more expensive than the conventional maybe point to point measurements, but the value that you can get is so much more. You can get so much more uh, information, which means you have to 
visit the site less. You don't have to go back to site several times and say, oh, I forgot a measurement. It's much safer. So you, of course, safety is a big concern when you do measurements or you do construction. So, so people don't have to climb Exactly, walls. scaffolds, and um, it's much safer that way. Um, but in terms of cost, I mean, it, it's, it's really relative. But I think the, the, the question you have to ask, how important is it to measure? How important are the details of your site to be captured? The accuracy. The accuracy as well. The accuracy of this is up to two, um, two millimeters. So that's almost as, as accurate as you can how be. How do you measure the time in terms of how, fa how much faster is it than manual, than the okay. way it's manually on, done? On a, on a good day, a conventional surveyor can probably capture maybe 300 points, uh, 300 points in a day. This one captures 1 million points per second. So um, the scale is actually not comparable. But I like to say that this is a tool, just a tool. At the end of the day, it's a tool to help our surveyors, designers, you know, capture more information, design more, design better, design smarter. And that's a tool. It's not here to replace jobs. It's here to help and, uh, and supplement the Maybe even elevate exactly, what we're elevate doing. Exactly, elevate the technology. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, Conrad. Yeah. All right.